Okay, hi friends. So, Maddie, welcome. I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm taking to the lake tomorrow. This is kind of the stuff I pack every single time I go to the lake. Um, I pack this stuff in my memorial um, weekend vlog. This is the stuff I had with me. Some of it's changed, obviously, like pair of sunglasses, you know, what hat I wear and things like that. But this is the pretty standard, basic type of things for when I go to the lake. Um, my family really enjoys going to the lake, and this is stuff that I found useful. I want to preface this video by saying that I'm kind of like the mother hen, so there will be things in here where you'll be like, why do you have that? And I'm also very accident prone, so um, let's just get into it. So going down to the lake, I'm going to be wearing these shoes. They're from Payless. I got them a few years ago. Um, I've washed them <laughs> quite a few times, like hand washed them. They don't stink, they're just like stained from my feet. But they're really cute. I really, really like these. Um, I would like to get a new pair, um, simply because these are like coming apart at the edges and stuff, but they still work. Um, and then I have this pair of shorts that I got from Dee Dee's. They're just like flowy, super cute, um, drawstring, super comfortable. And then I'm wearing this, this purple v-neck um, that honestly, I think it's from Target. Um, my mom's had it for like ever and then she gave it to me. And honestly, let's just like, the purples match really well. So that's kind of my go-to with those shorts. Hi, baby. Um, so yes, my rat's out. So if you guys hear anything or see her like climbing on me. My swimsuit I showed in my Memorial Day um, vlog as well. It's going to be kind of hard to show it, but basically... It is that like wraps around you, but um, it's got like really cool colors. I'm not showing what I'm, hi baby. Um, you can go click on that video. I'll link it down below if you wanna see like my swimsuit on. So I take a backpack and this is a backpack, um, an old one from school and it came apart at one part of it and it works best for this. Like I can't put books in it because I don't want it to tear anymore. And honestly, this one, I just really like the compartments and the colors. So I don't, I think we got this at Walmart. It's just a rainbow chevron bag. It's like a basic backpack, I guess, with lots of pockets. So in one of the like side pockets, um, obviously I have a water bottle. I actually got this today at Five Below. They are my favorite places to get water bottles. Um, this one I really, really liked. I was gonna get another one. I have like a big one and it has like the, it says Aloha Beaches too. It's so cute. It's purple. But you basically it's the top where you like pop it up and then you can like drink it. Can I help you? Um, I really really like that one and then I saw this one. So I like ones where it's like you drink through it. I don't like open ones I guess. It has a straw. And it has like this thing on the end so it like pushes down. I'm just really excited about this. So um, and also I don't really like insulated water bottles. I find that they're very heavy and they really don't hold um as much like I have a Tervis water bottle and it really doesn't hold that much like compared to this one and it's really heavy and so I just prefer this one um I really like it and I like the handle and um yeah so I'm excited do you like it <laughs> um and it holds a thousand milliliters but that's like not even to the top I don't know so I'll figure out how many cups are in it because I do like to track how much there's a sparkle on the bottom how mini cups I drink so that's gonna be one of the side pockets on the other side I have my sunglasses these are my prescription sunglasses so um, lots of haters I don't know I really like them they're like smaller I guess um, yeah they're just like blue pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool I don't remember if I was wearing these in my Memorial Day vlog or not and then also in that packet I have some peppermint gum and Oh, you okay? And some of my rubber bands that I'm not wearing right now. I've explained that in another video. I don't remember which one. If I even edited that out. I don't, um, I feel like watching people with gum in their mouth on YouTube is very distracting. And so, I feel like that would be distracting and annoying. So, in this, like, back pocket that's, like, the laptop area of the bag, I guess. Oh, I shook the table. I have these flip-flops that are from H-E-B. It's like a Walmart kind of thing. Um, and I wear these like out at my house like when I have to run out and check on the goats or things like that. So they're dirty and they're gonna stay that way. Washing my car, I'm gonna wear these. So these are like the ones where if I break them, it's okay kind of thing. Um, they're actually the most comfortable shoes that I own though and I actually wear them a lot um, even though they're dirty and gross. So I'm bringing these just um, 
like on Memorial Day, uh, walking down to the water, I wore these and then I like took them off and got in the water and walking back up. And then also on the playground because it was wet. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm bringing these, um, yeah, and I'll probably bring a bag to put them in, but they are just going to be back here. Can you get out of my mouth? with my swimsuit bag and I honestly got this at Ross and it is so awesome. Um, so it just says take me to the beach and there's like some cute flip flops on it and it's like plastic here and then this is almost like speedo material. Um, so I just will put my swimsuit in here but I always make sure to dry it out like with this side up and with it open because um, otherwise it'll sink and I'm really worried about washing like because of this. I don't want it to like melt or I don't know. I don't want the design to come off either. It has like a striped little thing. Um, I originally got this when we were going to California I think two years ago and I ended up not really using it. And it's kind of just recently that I've started like oh hey I have this and it has come so in handy to just pop my swimsuit in so that way it doesn't get everything wet and the zippers this little starfish I don't know I actually think this is really cute I initially was like it's not that cute but it'll work and I've kind of grown to love it so and it was honestly probably like five dollars so in the next big pocket I have this hat I went to Walmart and I got four plain ones so this one's navy and then I have she's in my bag um, a gray, white, and a black, and so I'm just bringing the navy tomorrow. I kind of just pick one. I wore the gray one on Memorial Day, and my uncle actually kind of made fun of me for it, but whatever, Jimmy. Um, so I really like them. They're plain, and honestly, they were three or four bucks a piece. Um, so I just stocked up on them, and they've lasted me. I've had them for over a year, and they're really handy. You know, can you get, um, going to the lake and you don't have to worry about like oh my gosh this is my hat from like American Eagle I don't even know if they sell hats um you know it was like $27 and I'm gonna wreck it I mean um so yeah but they've actually lasted me a really long time and they're just plain so I really like that so then I have like my bra and my underwear in here and then I'm bringing um an oversized shirt to throw on and I'm not gonna show it to you because it has the name of my school but it is just neon green I'll show you the color here um, and a pair of plain black leggings or capri leggings just to ride home in. And I can ride home in the outfit that I'm bringing, obviously. But knowing me, um, it'll just get messy. That happened on Memorial Day. And I just, I find it best to bring an extra outfit. And then I have this bag in here. And I honestly got this at a garage sale. Um, it's like Estee Lauder brand or something. I don't know. But it's really cute. Oh, I have everything in here. So this is all like my toiletries. Kind of so I have endless summer bath and body works like the cream I don't know I really like the way this smells I've had this for a while too <laughs> um, I just have the dry spray deodorant I'm almost out of this um, I don't want to bring one of my sticks so I'm afraid they'll break and I had a roll on of the stick kind that I use but it's almost out this one I really like I have been reaching for it a lot lately that's why I'm almost out of it but it really helps when you kind of already stink it helps you feel fresh it's not like you're making things goopy in your armpit I also really like this um, when I wear like black or the, where, where you can see my armpit because it doesn't leave like streaks or like run so yeah this is the Dove dry spray for sensitive skin so I really really like this next I just have a mirror and hair thing this I got from five below I love that place I love how it looked almost like gold pearls um, so yeah it's just a hairbrush as well um, I don't really need that it's still at this point but my sister probably will and like that's not even my hair this is hers and then it has a mirror which is dirty but it's a mirror so whatever I have these Dollar General eye makeup remover pads and I will be wearing like a little bit of waterproof mascara maybe not I don't know but this is for I carry these just in case Again, because I am like the mom, um, the second mom in my family. Um, of course, I have a mom. <laughs> um, but these I find really useful. Like today, I was wearing liquid lipstick, and once I got off work, I really didn't want to wear it anymore, and it's so hard to get off. So I could just pop one of these. Like they're just little squares. Um, honestly, they're super useful. I really like these. Um, I have used them on my eyes. Like I carry them around with me. Like if I've been crying, then you can just pop one of these out. Um, and I've had them for a while. They haven't dried out. Um, they The seal is starting to come up a little bit. But 
they work. I really like them. Um, obviously, there's several uses. I think it's good to always carry I makeup remover wipes. And knowing my mom and my sister, one of them will not wear waterproof mascara and it'll be a mess. Um, so next I have this old lip scrub bottle and I have some Motrin in there and some of my anxiety medicine. I haven't had to take my anxiety medicine in a really long time, but it's nice to have it. Um, just in case, you know, just in case something happens or whatever. Um, I don't like panic or anything like super bad. Um, it hasn't been very bad lately, but, um... I just like to carry it with me almost as like a security thing, I guess. I've honestly gotten one prescription for it and in two years, I still have like 75% of them left. So I have like two of them in here and you take one um, and it just kind of calms you down, makes you feel really relaxed. Um, but yeah, so I just, I just have some just in case because um, there have been times when I have gotten bad anxiety and sometimes I really just don't know why and so it's good to have them. Um, so yeah, so next I have this sexy twist perfume from Dollar General and I really like it. It smells like, I think my sister said Victoria's Secret Bombshell. Is that the one? Yeah, I don't know. I really like it. I have some Jormax I actually got today because my other one, like the lid wouldn't snap down um, anymore and I'm the one where they're like, go ask Maddie for Jormax um, and I don't really mind. Um, I have a bigger one in my room that I can always refill this with. So this is the Jormax brand. I got it at Dollar Tree. I have um, Love and Sunshine perfume from Dollar, no, Bath and Body Works. Oh girl. But um, normally I would carry... What is that one called? Oh my gosh, I always have it with me. It's like the red one and it's really popular. This one smells really good too because I'm almost out of that one. I'm so sad. So I like to have just a little body mist. And then I'm bringing just my Tresemme dry shampoo. I don't wash my hair every day. I will be obviously after the lake. But it can look a little bit after the lake, especially. Um, I'm not sure what lake we're going to. It kind of depends. Um, just what it's like. Also, other people might need this, but for me, if my hair is just looking really disgusting, I can't throw my hair back into a, a ponytail and like, you know, that's a big reason for the hat, but if like, for whatever reason, you know, I don't want to wear my hat because I got to I just bring this just in case. It's a just in case kind of deal. You know, you feel me? Um, so yeah, it's very packed. So I want to preface really fast. I have the Germix in there. Um, I used to keep it out like on the side with my stuff or one, you know, um, kind of by itself because people end up needing it a lot. But I've had, I have had Germix, Germix is spill on me and all this stuff in there. It's not going to damage it. If it does spill, I could just wipe it off and um, that way then it's in a bag and this bag um, is almost like water resistant feeling if you know what I mean. Um, so it's not going to be as big of a mess if it does. So that's kind of my reasoning behind that and why you're going to see some things that you're like, why well, would put it in that bag? That's my reasoning. So the next pocket is a little bit smaller. And in here, I just have my wallet, and it's just a Rampage. Um, I got this from a, like, outlet mall um, over Christmas. I just really like that it was black with gold. I mean, gold is growing on me, and I really like the zippers. Um, they're, like, really fun shaped. And then on my <laughs> big zipper. So I have a lot of a, a lot of keys on my keychain, and it's not good to have a heavy keychain, because otherwise these would so be on my keychain, but... Um, so this is my compromise. <laughs> um, so I have this puff ball that I got from, I want to say Ross, and it has like a faux leather gray bow with like some jewels, like girl yes. And then I have this little gold tassel, which was off of my clutch that I took to prom, but I took it off of there. And I think it's so cute, like it's extra, but I mean, it's easy to find my wallet in my bag because I do tend to carry a bigger bag. And then also in here, I got this at Dollar Tree tonight, and I think it is the cutest bag because I needed one slightly bigger to put my headphone patch in, pouch in here, and it's so stinking cute. Um, I really like this bag. I had my brother help me pick. There was three different patterns. So I have this little pouch, which I got from, like, this little boutique. Um, I have another one that you'll see, and it just has my Dollar Tree headphones. I get my headphones from there. They honestly last me the longest. They're not the most, like, high quality, but... I very, very rarely need headphones, mainly it's my brother that needs them and he doesn't really care. So that's that. Hey, pumpkin. And then also in here I have like the...
Okay, so we're running out of space, so we're going to have to speed this up. And then I have three portable batteries. This is two of them. One of them has three charges, one of them has one, and then my other one also has only one, and that one's blue. Um, two of them are from Target, and this one's from Academy. Um, I find them very handy, if not for me, for everyone around me. And I'm also going to put an Android cord in here because my dad and brother have Androids. So that's all that's in that pocket. And then in the next pocket, on the last one, guys, bear with me. Um, we only have a few things. So we have my pepper spray. I just always bring this with me, you know. You never know. Okay, the last two things in here, I have fingernail clippers, it's another little pouch from the same boutique, um, and some chapsticks. And then in this pouch, I have band-aids. And the reason these aren't in that other pouch, even though they're in like this pouch, is because um, it would still ruin them. And no one wants a band-aid covered in Germex. So I just have a pretty good amount in here. I find that when they get too bent up and folded and wrinkled though, they don't stick as well. So I don't keep too many, but there have been times when people need way more than like four. So my family is very accident prone and there's times when my dad's like, oh my God, like I have this blister and I'm like, I got you. So that's just in there. I'm that person. Also to this, I'm probably going to add a book um, simply because I really like reading. I will probably add um, Stephen King's Bizarre Bad Dreams. I've been reading that. It's really good. Um, and I got it from Five Below for $5 too. That was super awesome. Or I will bring the book that I'm currently reading from the Wagons West series. Or I will bring one of my like self-improvement books that um, I also like to read. I just like to read. So I'll probably bring one of those for like the ride up there. And then um, the ride back or even being there. Um, I don't know. I'm not very attached to my phone surprisingly. I check Instagram every other day if that. Um, so I don't post very often, but when I do check it, like, I'll go all the way through and things like that. But, um, yeah, I'm just not the best <laughs> at that. Obviously, if someone messages me, like, I'm going to check it. But, um, Brinley, my other two rats were terrified of plastic bags, and she isn't, and it scares me so bad. Okay, so my phone is, like, girl, quit talking. I'm out of space. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Sorry, the lighting's weird. It's like midnight. So, um, yeah, and we're leaving tomorrow at like eight, but mm, sleep is for the week. Um, so yeah, we say goodbye and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.